Right now we're about to start my first dance. The dress didn't fit right. I didn't know if the boys can carry me. I was stepping on the dress. You guys, I need another people in there. There was no more petticoats for me to like fix the dress. So I was super, super stressed. I felt like if I went on stage, I was definitely just gonna like mess up. It's the day of my quince. All my guests are walking in. So we're here at Annika's quince. So pretty. This is so cute. There's freaking chocolate covered strawberries with like that. So cute, look, it says Annika. This is extra. This is extra. A lot of them were telling me like, oh, this is so extra. And like, I love to hear that. Like, that's the biggest compliment. I just went like in this photo booth that like spins around you. It's so cool. I've never seen anything like that. I didn't even know that existed. So I just really love having things that people have never seen. And like, I'm so excited to get the party started. We're about to do our entrance. It's happening. Let's get ready for this. What we were planning is just like for everybody to have like 16 seconds to come up with a little dance. Oh my god. <laughs> so we kind of had to choreograph a little bit. And then me and my mom said that I would do like a little bit of modeling. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce to you the princess of the night. Let's give it up for Alec, but make some noise. So I did like a little runway just because everybody knows that I'm keen to model and like I think everybody was like expecting it. So that's kind of what we wanted to do for the grand entrance. For top ladies and gentlemen, let's give the royal court and Annika a big, big round of applause. Right now we're about to start my first dance, which is a waltz. And like, I'm so excited to change into my second dress because I know everybody will be like, what? I just love like the wow factor. It's Mom, this is not how the dress looked yesterday. I think I'm gonna be like Well, put it on. Do you think, do you guys think we could put it on like this? Can we try the lift? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first try the lift and then you'll yeah. yeah. Cause I, we can I put it on walk, walk, that. walk, but you have to like kick it and walk. The dress didn't fit right. I was stepping on the dress. There was no more petticoats for me to like fix the dress. So I was super, super stressed. I'm gonna slip off. I she, know She's it. gonna slip off. She can't be on top of here. Are you serious? Dude, I can try to find her leg. <laughs> like, try just to find her leg. Just lift up the whole skirt and put your hand No, you gotta go in here like this. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, gonna touch your leg. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's not hard. Just I can just balance there. her right here. You help her get, get sit her down. Yeah, I didn't know if the boys can carry me. And we had never practiced with a petticoat or with a quinceanera dress. And that's one of the heaviest quinceanera dresses I've ever put on. I felt like if I went on stage, I was definitely just gonna like mess up. You guys, I need another quinceanera. You guys can't put it on top. Yeah, go, go ahead. Okay. Just, yeah, just put it under her legs. We're supposed to already have been done through the last dance already, so let's see what happens. I was really, really stressed because I knew there was people waiting for the dance. I knew I had to be on stage. It was just like a lot of tension in that moment. Oh my God, I'm so nervous for this dance. Okay, let's go. Overall, I think we definitely tried the best on the wall. We did all the moves and all the steps that we had practiced, all the lifts and uh, when they carried me and just all the turns went pretty well. There was just like a little bit of slip ups just because of the dress, dragging. I definitely think that the Tambelan has added to that, like the success of the waltz because they were just really determined and I really saw their effort like throughout the dance, before the dance and after the dance. She looks so good. She looks so Did good. Did you see how she was dancing? I was like, I know, she looks her little baby. I'm so happy for her. It's like really traditional for a quinceanera to have like a father-daughter dance. And because I always grew up with my mom being mom and dad, I definitely wanted to do something with my mom in the quinceanera. 
Yeah, your mom wants you to hurry up. Where's the crown? Give me the crown. Give me the crown. Give me the crown. Give me the crown. Someone give me the crown. I don't know. Are, are they these? It was no. It's that one. Okay, um, give me bobby pins. So all my friends were there at that point. I had like all their support. They were helping me with like everything I needed. But it also, I think it added a little bit more to the stress because I felt like everybody was telling me something different and I was just kind of like hearing voices at that point. Okay, okay you ready? Guys, just leave her alone now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go. I feel like we're, we're making this make more. Yeah, more. Let go, let go, let go. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on Danny. I was feeling like just a lot of pressure from like everybody because there was like a lot of people in that room and everybody was like saying something different. I'm so stressed out about this dance. She changed like half of the girls that were supposed to be in this dance. The girls have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. The mother-daughter dance, me and my mom didn't choreograph at all. It didn't even need the choreography because it was just like, it's how we feel. We both definitely wanted to do like a tribute to Alejandra. We've had a hard eight years, you know, with Alejandra. When I was seven years old, my sister passed away due to domestic violence. This was a really devastating loss in my family. Me and my mom have bonded over my sister. I feel like that happening has just made us inseparable. Like, I need her and she needs me. Just knowing that my mom is like the person that has my best interest at heart. And we've both sacrificed so, so much, not only to, for me to have a quinceañera, but for me to be where I am in general. We've made so many sacrifices. We've gone through so much heartache together and I feel like I let all of that go in the dance. It was really emotional to say the least. Two practices ago, my choreographer, he just threw in like a surprise dance, kind of like boys versus girls. No puedo was just because I had so many dress changes. We didn't want like the audience to wait for so long. Overall, I'm really, really happy with my chambelanes. They were always like there to help me, so I really, really appreciate that. I couldn't have asked for a better court, honestly. surprise dance I did with my friends. I know that I messed up like a lot, but it's okay. You know, overall I had a lot of fun doing that dance. That's the dance that I kind of let go more of and wasn't so stressed about. And that kind of was like the kickoff of the party. So I had a lot of fun. So I don't even like, I'm not even disappointed that we messed up. It was like, it was so much fun. This was my dream quinceanera. Although there's a lot of stress that went into this quinceañera, overall I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I'm so happy that I was able to have a quinceañera in the first place and that we were able to make this happen. It became my dream quinceañera just because everybody poured so much and I really, really, really felt that today. And I think that that's the most special part of this whole quinceañera is just feeling like all the love and support that everybody has poured in. Not only this quinceañera, but my business and like my growth in general, and I'm so grateful for that. And that's why this Kisingana has been so special for me. If you want your Quince featured on Awesomeness TV, make sure to email quince at awesomenesstv.com. Subscribe down below to watch more.